That was some of the best snorkeling I've seen. It was so nice out there. I'm Erin, and this is Danny, and the littlest member of our family, River. We are making our way around Australia with our home in tow. Subscribe to follow along and keep up to date with our adventures. Good morning guys from Exmouth. We've been so keen to get to this place, finally here. So it's a nice calm morning this morning, so we're coming down to Turquoise Bay. Apparently pretty amazing snorkeling here with turtles and everything. Damn, look how nice that water looks. Keen as to get out there for a snorkel. Check this spot out, eh? So good, got the cool cabana set up, so we can have some nice shady area to sit under. It does get quite fierce, the sun, out here. That water looks so inviting. Get out there very shortly, the snorkels. Erin's first up. Apparently that other lady out there just said there's a big turtle just out there, so you go check it out. I can see something really big just behind her there too in the water. Not sure what that is. Hundreds of these darts that swim right in close here, get right past you. Really good. How was that river? You have a good fun snorkeling? Did you see any turtles? Yeah. You did? What did you see? 
for a turtle. That's why I saw the fish. Saw the fish, did you? Yeah. Oh. Do you see big ones? Yeah. So apparently Turquoise Bay is rated as one of the best beaches in the southern hemisphere. I can actually understand that. But it's pretty bloody nice, isn't it? It's stunning. Like, I reckon this is one of the best beaches we've seen. Yeah, it's like full wit Sunday vibes. Like, it's probably one of the best beaches we've seen since being at um, Whitehaven Beach, I reckon. Mm. Bloody beautiful. Hey guys, so we're staying here at the Ningaloo Caravan Park and Resort in Exmouth. Pretty good little resort, this place, actually. It's uh, got, like, all pretty much new amenities, so they've all been refurbished, so they're all pretty nice. And we'd actually have a shower in, the car in our caravan. We've only got a little portable toilet, so... Um, it hasn't been an issue though because most of the time these days most people buy new caravans that have a shower and toilet in them so they don't really seem to use the amenities that much at the caravan parks so every time i go have a shower pretty much the only one in there so it's great so we're staying on an unpowered side it's only 35 dollars a night which is pretty good for this time of the year in the area we're in because it's pretty popular um it looks pretty bare at the moment but that's because this part of the caravan park here is closed they're going to renovate it or something but the rest of the car park is pretty full it has quite a nice pool area too, like, so we normally hang out there in the afternoons after we go out for the day exploring that we come back and hang out in the pool area. So this morning we've head down to Oyster Stacks, so it's a snorkeling area that's about 55 k's um, out of Exmouth, so it's a little bit further south than where we were the other day at Turquoise Bay. So yeah, it's meant to be really good snorkeling here, so we're hoping we'll see some more turtles and some really cool fish. This looks pretty cool, eh, this place? This looks like a really good spot to go snorkeling. You can see all that reef out there. It looks super clear and it's just riding close here. So you don't have to swim out very far. I think we might head down there a little bit. It looks like a bit of a beach area down there. You can go down. So Erin's going to have first go on the snorkeling. She normally always has a first go because um, I spend ages in there and I'm hogging all the time. So it's good to get her out there have her turn first. So I managed to find a bit of sand here to actually put the kookaburra up. Because it's mostly all rocks. Got this little spot here for a river to hang out in. We can only go out one at a time because we've got to, you know, stay here and watch river. So I can see why this place is so highly rated for snorkeling. That was the best snorkeling I think I've ever done in my life. I don't know how good the footage will be because we don't have the best underwater camera, but hopefully it turns out okay. But I saw this huge big clam, these all these fish, they were like fluorescent, like super bright colours. This huge big like snail type animal thing. Um, starfish, heaps of other little fish. Yeah, it was amazing. Oh, heaps of sea cucumbers. Such a good spot. I highly recommend if you come to the Exmouth area, you have to come to Oyster Stacks. We got a good spot, do we? Yes, I do. <laughs> so Daddy's out there now having a go. Hopefully he'll I see a turtle or something. Oh, you you made some food for me while I was snorkeling, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah. These are um, Danny's glasses that River's claimed. You like them, hey? Look at them.
that was so nice out there. The water is like really, really clear. It's like such good clarity. And there's like such a good variety of fish and coral out there. There's like big schools of um, dart and all sorts of fish. And it's like super blue, very bright blue fish. That was some of the best snorkeling I've seen. It was so nice out there. It was good. What did you think of that snorkeling? So, you know, when you see on like TV and movies, the expectation of what you think snorkeling is and like reefs, that tops it. Like that was the best place I've ever been snorkeling. It was so impressive. And this is only uh, the second spot we go snorkeling. We've got a few more spots to go snorkeling yet, so there's a lot more to come. Yeah, just time to have a bit of a snack and just admire, admire the uh, view out there looking at that reef. You can watch those huge breakers breaking out on the, um, the outer reef there, which protects this whole inner area. I'm still shocked because I knew that place was going to be good, but I didn't expect it to be that good, hey? So this morning we're heading off on a uh, Ningaloo glass bottom boat tour. So that should be pretty cool because the river will be able to actually see like through the glass on the bottom see the fish because obviously when we go snorkeling normally he doesn't get a chance to see him. So and it'll be interesting to see where they take us compared to like where you can access directly off the beach to see whether it's actually better or not. So the first stop on the tour they take us down to the Mil Miljura wreck. So it was like in 1907 there was a ship full of like cattle and stuff and it, it hit the reef and got wrecked just off the point here. So just after that they built a lighthouse, but apparently after they built the lighthouse they couldn't even see it from the, re the uh, reef, so it's kind of a waste of time. They're gonna come right under us. They're gonna go under us. There he goes. <laughs> yep. Uh, we're gonna get jammed, we don't wanna leave her. So you can see we've got this little big coral, one we have at the boat at the moment, this big blue poor eye coral. Now your four options are gonna be animal, plant, rock, or all of the above. Look at the size of that bit of coral. So to boat, you just put looks like an upside down jellyfish. Now what do the dairies have So this is the last part of the tour. So you get back on the bus and they stop off at the lighthouse here. So this is the actual lighthouse that they built after 1907 when the Mildura's wreck um, obviously wrecked off on the reef up there. And there's about 12 um, crew members that survived. They all survived and they all swam back to the shore. But um, after they built this, they realized that they couldn't really see the actual lighthouse from most of the reefs. So as you can see, there's a pretty good view from up here. You can see right up to the very point there, the Cape. And you can see, see right down like a lot of the Ningaloo Reef on the other side of the lighthouse, so nice little spot to come up here. It's pretty easy, you can drive up here yourself, you don't need to go on tour or nothing. 
So we've driven past it a few times on the way down to like Turquoise Bay and stuff. So this caravan park you can see here is actually just been sold recently. This is one of the oldest caravan parks in the Exmouth area. So they're building a big resort right here. Yeah, so there's big towers you can see over there. There are radio towers. The tallest one is 387 meters and there's 12 of them. And they actually survived a cyclone with winds of 350 k's an hour. So they're very strong. So they were built by the US in the 1960s. Yeah, so that's basically why Exmouth is here because the US made a deal with the government to build those radio towers. And um, in agreement with that, they said that they would also build Exmouth the town for people to live in, so it kind of feels like home. So originally it was mostly just US people living there and you actually had to have a passport to get into the town and you also had to use US dollars to buy anything there. So that's pretty interesting. But then once they all started leaving, um, Australia took over it and now you obviously don't need US money and all the um, US went home, so yeah, interesting. So we're back at the caravan now. River's off with his grandma because Aaron's grandparents come down for Christmas, so it's good. He's having, a, he's loving it. He's having a ball with him. <laughs> he's just happy to have a break from us. I feel like because yeah. he's just since they've been here, hasn't wanted anything to do with mum and dad. <laughs> yeah, so that tour was like amazing. Like I really enjoyed that. Mm. Yeah, it was so worth it. Because um, even though you can drive down, you know, go directly off the off the beach to the, to the reef, that was just that was really worth it because it's, it's so good for River to be able to see the coral too through the bottom of the boat. And um, Erin's mum too, because she didn't go for a snorkel, so it was great she could do that. And where the boat pulls up, they pull up on like this big sandy bank, and it's quite shallow, so you can actually still stand up and touch, which I thought was really good. So then, when if you were snorkeling and needed a bit of a break, you can kind of just swim in and like stand up and like you know have a break. But yeah, it was awesome. I think it was only like eighty something dollars yeah, each yeah. to go, and. I know like, you can go just off the beach by yourself, but that was amazing. Like, I'm so yeah, impressed. So worth it. Like, because the Ningaloo Reef is one of the healthiest reefs in the world. You can go to the, the Great Barrier Reef, you know, up over in Queensland, and it's beautiful, but it's not quite as healthy as the reef over here. So, like, and, and it's way, not as accessible. Yeah, the fact that it's just like so close to the shore, which is amazing, because you can just either swim straight out or you can go out in a boat. It doesn't take long. So, it's so good. So yeah, I'll leave the name of the, the tour that we did. I'll um, overlay it on the screen. But yeah, highly recommend if you're yeah, in the great. area. It's absolutely worth it. Yep, so good. So we've just come down to Learmonth Jetty for a bit of a fish this afternoon. See if we have any luck down here. Glenn just hooked up a little one. Got look where he got him, through the side. <laughs> Glenn's picked himself up a nice brim, look at that. Good work. What do you get, Aaron? Oh, mate, you get a... yeah, that's a... oh, yeah, that's a happy moment. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you don't want to touch that. Don't touch that. No, they. <laughs> okay. You won't have. Get it off then. They're called happy moments for a reason. Even though it's not, it's the opposite. It's not a happy moment. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we'll get a little pair of pliers and we'll get off here. Yeah. It's a finger mark, isn't it? Um, it's like a finger mark. Oh, okay. We drove over to the western side to watch the sunset. While Danny was having a fish, a few big turtles kept popping their heads up. The beach was full of turtle nests and we believed the ones in the water were waiting for the tide before coming in to lay their eggs. What a magic afternoon. Hanging out down the beach here, watching the turtles swim by, I go for a fish, watching the sun drop down, so good. Thanks for watching guys. Tonight was our final night in Exmouth, so we wanted to visit the beach one last time. The water was so stunning and so warm that we had to have one final swim. Exmouth definitely has a special place in our hearts. 